Hello, my name is Julian Rodriguez, and today we're going over some of the characteristics in order to correctly identify a minarelli. We are going to identify this specimen. Lots of rocks are gray and brown, but many others have more vibrant colors like blue, green, red, and purple. Minerals can either be opaque, where no light can pass through, translucent, where light can partially pass through, or transparent, where light can pass through completely. The luster is how light reflects off of a mineral. There are many types of luster like a metallic luster on metals, vitreous, a light glass luster, or a dull or earthy luster like in clay or any old rock. Rock heavy, might feel light, but sometimes heavy. The Mohs scale is what determines hardness, or how strong a mineral is. To test hardness, you can get a material of similar or weaker hardness and see if the mineral can be scratched. If the mineral can or cannot be scratched by the material, you can get a spectrum of the mineral's hardness. If a mineral has broken off from a non-crystal lattice, you can observe the type of fracture. For example, fractured quartz and glass have a conchoidal surface. Some other minerals might have a fibrous fracture, like in this piece of asbestos. If your rock has visible crystals, you can determine the crystal system. The most recognizable crystal structure is isometric or cubic, but there are many others like triclinic or tetragonal. Cleavage is the ability of a rock to break off from a lattice plane in its crystal system. I would talk more in depth, but I don't want to talk about Miller indices, so... Once you have all your characteristics, you can identify your mineral on any site, but I like to use mindat.org. And there we have it. The mineral is pyrite. Thank you for watching, and I hope you can correctly identify a mineral now.